www.sandy.com This site is going to be one of the top sites for all the exam sites. Exam site is going to be a destination for students, exam days, preparation test video tutorials, exam packages, exam syllabus, assessment class, FAQ, mock online test, solve testing papers, results, model testing papers, notifications, study materials, and exam patterns. Hi everyone, we will see the video regarding interfacing of AG51 with LCD display. The video covers the contents of LCD, the salient features of an LCD, and what's meant by an LCD display, and how we can understand LCD, and what are the pin details of an LCD, and how AG51 is interfaced with LCD, and what are the commands we need to follow for an LCD and encoding. Yeah. LCD. LCD is nothing but a liquid crystal display. So LCD is nothing but a fat panel which is made up of a modulated optical device. It may be of any color, it may be of monochrome, it may be a black and white or it may be of colors with red, green, blue with different colors. So LCD is nothing but liquid crystal display. So it makes use of a liquid crystal. The features of an LCD are it's cost effective. The cost of an LCD in the beginning it was more. But today, from day to day, the cost is reducing very costly. So it is cost effective. And LCD is more energy efficient. It saves energy. So the power consumption is less in LCD. The space also now is less compared to other devices like CRT. The radiation also less compared to CRT monitors. Weight wise it is less. And if we think of other monitors, we need to give more strength to see what is the image or what is the text in that. If we compare to other LCD has less eye strength. The quality of an image is very good compared to other displays. And screen privacy. Screen privacy is one of the main things when, go, when we go for an LCD. In that little space, you cannot say in terms of a hot sun. For example, in a hot sun, if, you, if anyone is trying to see, we cannot see the exact text or image what is there in that LCD. So privacy will be there. And life compared to other monitors, it has long life. And LCD display. This is an example for LCD display, which is 2 core 16 LCD display. It has 2 rows and 16 columns. It's one of the examples of how an LCD display looks. And how we can understand LCD? What is the pin details and what are the pins and where it is connected? Here we have one to three pins that is mainly focused for voltage supply and we have uh, seven to fourteen pins that is mainly for data pins um, that is indicated with db0 to db7 if all these eight pins are used then we need to go for eight bit mode if any of the four bits are used then it is for four bit mode so seven to fourteen this is the data pins that will be connected to an 8051 microcontroller and we can transmit our information and fix the pin it is enabled we have to enable from low to high pins if you give 0 to 1 then it is enabled and fifth the pin is read or write if you want to perform write operation then give 0 if you want to perform read operation then give 1 and fourth pin is register select. That is for that is useful for selecting registers. So just we can understand by saying this and we'll see the pin description of each and every pin, whatever they are in LCD.
we will see the token we have 16 pins and we see each one by one. The pin 1 is connected to ground, the power supply ground. And the pin 2 is supply voltage and third pin also is a supply voltage. In RS register select, we already have seen that what is mean. Actually, if we give register select as 0, then command mode will be selected. If we give register select as 1, then data mode will be selected. Based on our use, we can give whether we want command mode or data mode. If we give fifth pin 0, then write will be performed. If we give 1, then read will be performed. He is enabled. If you have to perform any operation, if you want to pass anything from controller to display, then you have to enable this sixth pin enable. And from 7 to 14, it is data pin. And D7 is called a busy pin, busy data pin. Why? Because if it is 0, then LCD is busy with some other internal operation. If it is 1, then we can transform from controller to an LC. So B7 plays a vital role in order to exchange the information from controller to display. And 5th pin and 16th pin is a ground that will be indicated as an anode of LED and cathode of an LED. It's a backlight. So we can ground it. And how LC is interfaced with 8051? We know the pin description of 8051. We have already seen what is meant by an LCD pin detail? So how it is interfaced? From 7 to 14, data pins is interfaced with an 8051 microcontroller of port 1. From 0, port 1.0 to port 1.7. So these 8 data pins are connected to port 1. So each port has 8 bits. So here port 1 is entirely connected for data pins. And enable that is connected to port 0.0. .0. Read and write it is grounded. Register select. Yeah, this is very important because we need to transfer any command or else any data. First pin, third, fourth, second. It is grounded and it is supplied with each. So this this is what how an LCD is interfaced with 8051. This is just an interfa interfacing technique. So we know, by saying this we can understand very easily because already we know all the pin details of an LCD. And before using or before displaying anything in an LCD, you need to follow some commands. For example, all the commands will have some address in terms of XR decimal. If you use 0 plus 0 1, then that is used for display screens will be cleared. To clear the display, you need to use 0 cross 0 1. It is better to use always a command 0 cross 0 1. Whatever it is there, from beginning make it as clearly clear and you can use for display. If you are using for 2, 0 cross 0 2, then it's return to home. Wherever it is there, it returns to home. And fourth when fourth command is shift cursor to left. For example, if the cursor is blinking somewhere, then you need to shift to left then you can go for 0 cross 0 4. If you want to display and write, then go for 0 cross 0 5 command. Same thing. Write, cursor to write, display left. All those are commands we need to follow based on our use. If you want to make the cursor as blinking, then go for 0 cross 0 E. And 0 cross 38, that is used for selecting which mode, whether we are using 8 bit mode or 4 bit mode. If you are using 8 bit mode, then go for 38. 0 cross 38. 0 cross 80 is wherever you will be, but it will be pointing on first line. The cursor will be pointing to first line. These are some commands you need to follow before using or before displaying anything in an LCD. So we need to inform all those things to an LCD by passing these commands. Not the coding. By this we can understand how LCD is interfaced with 8051. Here register 51.h and header file we have included this mainly for special purpose registers. So we are using this header file and SFR. So an entire port is connected to that 8 data pins. So we are using SFR. 
it is not a single bit it is not a single pin it is of eight pins we are connecting eight pins to port one so s is for port left one and s bit when this is select we are given to port 0, 0.0 and s bit read write port 0, 01 port 2.1 second pin of port 2 and enable that we connect it to second pin of third pin of port 2 and some of the declarations we see down in main beginning we are what we are making we are initializing we are calling a function lcd init it is initialization we need to initialize so we'll go for that and we'll see LCD initial. So we are in that we are passing some commands. So I'm using here 8 bit. I'm informing 0 plus 30. That is for I'm selecting 8 bit mode and I'm clearing some of the commands I'm passing to inform to LCD what I have to make. And second back. Here, first we are initializing and then we are passing some data. So what I'm doing here, I've shown some of the commands for initialization and I'm passing some data. So if you are passing data, then we have to make the register select as one. So these are some declarations for this initialization, data mode, command mode and delay. So we'll see the data in command. Here's some commands you need to follow. So here if you call this command, it comes immediately with this command function call. So this is a function definition for this call. So we are, what we are doing, whatever you are passing that we are carrying, storing in some character, that we, we are moving to LCD. So we are making register select as 0 because it is command mode. And if you want to perform right operation, then it is 0. So give an I to local. So make the enable high. And data, we passed data A, so have taken character. So I am storing the character into this X and once again in passing to LCD. And here I have taken register select as 1 because it is data mode. And it is 0, I am writing once again. So and once again I am applying enable high. I call some delay in order to see the exchange of data. This is the July program to generate of 2 seconds. Thank you for watching this video.